get out. All right, guys, just wanted to quickly go through this. Um, this sign I seen at Macca's and I thought it was absolutely phenomenal piece of marketing and the reason is, I'll just read it out to you just so you can get it. Um, free, small fries and coke with every chicken McNuggets, six pack or Big Mac purchase. So, what's so good about this sign? Okay, it's the words free. So where this sign was positioned was a service station where inside the people have I think they had four choices, so they had a Subway in there, KFC in there, some other mum and dad shop, and then they had a Macca's that they could choose from. So vir virtually what this is, it is to trip people into Macca's. Um, so obviously free. Now Macca's knows, okay, that no one ever hardly gets the small fries and a Coke. Okay, when they're going to go... Person's gonna go, oh, I'll go to Macca's because I'll get the free chips and coke. Then when they get to the counter, the person's going to go, Oh, would you like to upsize to the medium or to the large? And everyone's gonna go, Oh, I'm gonna go the medium. Especially if you've been on the freeway all day driving to a destination, if you're on holidays, if you're a truckie, you know that you're not gonna get to eat anything else for a long time, you're not thinking smartly. And you're going to go the medium and large. Maccas would know their numbers. So it's important for you to know, as a marketer, what your numbers are. So Maccas would know that a certain percentage of their people always have a medium or a large. And I can guarantee, before they put this offer out, they knew that it was much, much higher than the people that are going to go the small fries and the Coke for free. So... Just to think of that, know the value of your customer so that you can liquidate it into your marketing. Just a food for thought. They do the same with their dollar Cokes. So you're driving past a Macca's or even a server. I think KFC does them as well. Driving past and you see a dollar Coke sign. Macca's knows that you're not going to pull in just for the dollar Coke. They know you're going to pull in thinking you're just going to get the dollar coke, but then you're going to get a cheeseburger, you're going to get a meal, you're going to have a carload of people, and they're probably all going to do the same, especially for teenagers. I think that's what that dollar coke um, trip is. And I think that <coughs> it's really, really awesome for them. It's a good traffic driver. And I think that, yeah, it's a good example of what a large company is doing, but there's absolutely no reason why a small business couldn't use these tactics if they know the numbers and they know what their average um, customer purchase is and what their average customer is worth to them and what they're willing to do to increase the amount of customers. Because we all know there's only three ways that you really increase your business. Increase the amount of customers, increase the amount of transactions from the customer, or increase the size of the transaction from the customer. Maccas knows that. So in this little marketing thing, they're trying to just build their traffic, they're working more on their traffic. Then once they've got them to the counter, then they're going to try and build their transaction size and try and get more out of that customer. Just a bit of food for thought. I thought it was a really awesome piece of marketing from McDonald's. Um, I'm always looking out for little nuggets. So if you see any out there, send them to me. I'd love to break them down. Awesome. Have a good day, guys. Hey, hope you enjoyed our video from Social Video Co. Please follow us on Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook so you can see more. Have a great day.